to the Lindbergh baby kidnapping, the house where Hauptman lived in the East Bronx, New York. And this is Bernard Richard Hauptman, 35, whose arrest as Lindbergh ransom collector in the kidnapping has aroused America. Make an example of the kidnappers and let the punishment fit the crime. In this garage across the street from the Hauptman home, $13,750 of the ransom money shown here was found. Two cans were stuffed with the gold certificates, and it was the passing of a gold certificate to Walter Lyle, a gas station attendant, that led to Hauptman's arrest. Suspicious of gold notes, now withdrawn from circulation, the attendant wrote the license number of the car on the face of the bill. Following the trail, the police found the car. This Dodge sedan, stolen at Hopewell the day before the kidnapping, and the license was issued to Hauptman. When Dr. John F. Condon, Japsey, tossed the $50,000 over this wall in St. Raymond Cemetery, it was to a man with a German accent. Hauptman's home is just a few miles away, and Hauptman is German, an alien who unlawfully entered this country 11 years ago. Hauptman's arrest emphasizes the need of promptly deporting all aliens who illegally enter this country and break our laws. The kidnapping of little Charles A. Lindbergh, Jr. was a tragedy not only to Colonel and Mrs. Lindbergh, but to the nation. His abduction from his Hopewell home was a challenge to America. This latter, the only clue to the kidnapping, was homemade. And much is made of the fact that Hauptman is a carpenter and could easily have built one similar to this. Despite the greatest manhunt in history, the baby's murder was not discovered until his little body was found here in the woods near his home two months later. Hauptman is the first arrested who actually possessed ransom money. His apprehension is a tribute to the splendid work of the federal agents, state and city police, led by J. Edgar Hoover of the Department of Justice. On left, Colonel Schwarzkopf of the New Jersey State Police on right, and New York Police Commissioner O'Ryan. We have in custody the man who received the ransom money. His name is Bernard Richard Hauptmann, 1279 East 222nd Street, in the borough of the Bronx in the city of New York. He came to this country as a stowaway 11 years ago. He is an alien unlawfully in the country. Will this solve the Lindbergh kidnapping? In the opinion of all three of us, yes. Let the developments in the Lindbergh baby case start a new drive to wipe out the stain, not only of that wanton kidnapping and murder, but of all kidnapping and crime. Let the justice dealt for this baby's abduction serve notice, America demands death for all kidnappers and murderers. Anna, the wife of Bruno Richard Hauptman, tells you what she knows about the Lindbergh ransom. When did you first see the money, Mrs. Hauptman? I saw the money the first time when the detective took me down to the garage. Do you think your husband is guilty of kidnapping the Lindbergh baby? I'm absolutely sure my husband had nothing to do with the Lindbergh kidnapping case. Despite her faith, this similarity between Hauptman's writing of baby in a letter to a friend shown on top and the word baby as written in the ransom note is considered incriminating. And now compare Hauptman's hand-printed signature on his auto license with his name reproduced with hand-printed letters taken from a ransom note. The initials signing the note, B.H., are the same as Bruno Hauptman's. And now Albert D. Osborne, handwriting expert, states his views. After examining the genuine handwriting of Hauptman, and the writing in the letters, there's no doubt, I believe, but this is the writer of the letters. Here is Dr. John F. Condon, the Japsey of the Lindbergh case, who received the ransom notes that led to the payment of $50,000. Hauptman, there he is between two detectives being led to jail, finds circumstantial evidence piling up against him. New Jersey, convinced he is the writer of the ransom notes on which the murder charges are based, is anxious to bring him to trial for his life. Listen to Governor Moore. That the case I will and be investigated with extreme fairness, for we are also determined uh, that the traditions of Jersey justice shall be upheld. Bruno Richard Hauptman, accused of the world's most horrible crime, stands convicted of handling blood money. Alien in thought and deed, he and his kind must learn America is no haven for criminals or murderers.